2009 Chevy Avalanche that I've had. I've never changed the spark plugs on since I bought it. It had 30,000 miles when I got it uh, years ago, probably around 2011, 2010, somewhere around there. Um, never change out spark plugs, and you never know until you pull them what they actually used in here. This is an AC Delco plug that I took out of here and is a 41985. Looking online for different options between, uh, well, in this case, AC Delco, because I decided to go back with AC Delco plugs. Uh, what was recommended was a 41-162. I have no idea what the difference is gonna be. I'm not sure if they're hotter or colder. The gap supposedly is supposed to be 40 thousands. And uh, if you look at this new plug, I haven't, uh, these are supposedly come preset at 40 thousandths, but I've seen a couple variances. But the older plugs, I haven't uh, put, uh, I, I haven't checked uh, the gap on them, but if you look at some of these, they're actually fairly large. Um, this is the uh, number two cylinder, which is on the passenger side front. This is the number uh, four cylinder. On the driver's side, this is the number one cylinder. This is the number four, or number, I guess it'd be one, three, five, seven, seventh cylinder in the rear. So these were the most corroded. The two, uh, the third and fourth cylinder were somewhat okay. But this one's definitely showing that there's uh, evidently ring problems in the vehicle. There's uh, oil on the plug, soot, and so on. Not real excessive, but there is some there as well as corrosion. Same with the number seven cylinder right here. But anyway, I'm going to be changing these out, and obviously, you always do the easy side first, haha, uh -huh. which is the driver's side. Still sort of a bear, like any vehicle, to get to the rear by the firewall over there. But worse is on the passenger side. I've got all but two out. I haven't got to the back yet. I'm about to take out the number six cylinder. Then it'll be number eight, which is the back. I might have to get to from under underneath. Uh, get the boot off. Um, which is connected to the uh, a coil pack a coil right here this is the coil pack so there are eight of these these are any range anywhere from about $35 to $90 depending on if you get them at an auto parts store twice that much of course if you go through a dealership but I'm going to change out the plug first um, I mean I did change out the plugs on this side first and I'm going to see what the results are going to be more than likely the coil packs are good but I'm sure are due to fail not too distant future.